Okay, so welcome back. After a bit of organization, I swept out the area where these cars were parked over there, pulled the Subaru out, got that running, tick in the motor has gone away. I'm really disappointed in the way I stored the R5 Renault the car. I did not think, but I don't know what I was thinking. I got the Honda Accord out here. I'm gonna wash that, see if I can get that sold. Stella, shop dog, is combating the hot weather. <laughs> what a hot dog you are. It's so funny. It's 90 some degrees today, uh, the, the latter part of September. And again, I'm super disappointed. I flooded the carburetor with penetrating oil. The throttle shafts are seized. I didn't, I don't know, I turned it off the last time I started it. A couple years ago, I don't even remember, maybe it's been three years, and the choke didn't close, and the throttle shaft is seized, which means water got down in there. So I pulled, pulled the spark plugs, and I used my funnel to put anti I'm sorry, uh, ATF in the holes, and I'm going to try to turn it over. Ugh. Oh, it moved. Thank goodness. Okay, it moved a little bit. And so, if you're familiar with an R5, the crankshaft is actually over there uh, behind the dash. This is the camshaft that I'm, that I'm tugging on. The transmission, of course, is right here. Um, but I did get to move, so I think we got something. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I just can't believe I did that. Anyhow, that's what's going on. We're getting ready for our seasonal change. I need to clean up the yard a little bit, so think this car is going to go. I don't know about the Le Car, the Subaru, and I've got lots of cars need to go. Everything's in flux here right now. Everything. <laughs> wee wee Le Car. All right, welcome back Two Stroke Turbo fans. Welcome back to one of the most interesting and collaborative automotive themed YouTube channels on the internet in the world maybe even better. What do we got going on here today? I'm focusing in on the engine compartment of my 1970, I think it's a 77 R5 Le Car. It was parked back there in the bushes for years uh, with a tarp over it. Just haven't had time to get to it until now. Uh, whenever I have a seasonal change here as a mechanic, we go from, uh, you know, air conditioning to wiper blades and sometimes it takes a while for the the work to catch up. We've got Stella the shop dog on the property right there in the house looking over everything we're doing and this engine was seized. I did a bad job of parking this car. I left the carburetor completely uncovered for years, left the battery in it. Luckily I didn't have the battery hooked up um, and the engine was seized. I did squirt ATF down the holes, the cylinders. I think this is a 1100cc? 1400 cc. I can't remember what size engine this is. I don't think it's bigger than that. Uh, the crankshaft is behind the dash and the camshaft is right down below the water pump pulley and I was able to get a wrench on there and turn it a little bit and then I put a battery in it um, after letting everything soak. I soaked down the carburetor, soaked down all the holes uh, and now I'm going to see if we got some compression. Uh, I really hope I didn't ruin this engine. Uh, but to prove that it turns over we're going to hot wire this old R5. It's a rough one. Don't be shy. Come on in here. Oh, what do we got? We're going to hot wire it. So we got one wire hooked to the starter and the other to the battery. Listen. Turns over. I don't hear any rods clanking. Should have sort of fresh oil in it. Three years oil, oil but hardly any miles on it. Okay, so that's good. Let me get my compression tester and let's see what we got in the in the cylinders. We're gonna see if we can make this thing sing. Oh, let's check to see if the oh yes. The throttle blades came unstuck. I just poured or shot a bunch of penetrating oil down there and hoped that it would come undone and it did. So silly me. Okay, let's see if we can make this better. Okay, so I got my compression gauge here up under the wiper, it goes down to number one cylinder. We're gonna go in the car. It's very hot today. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna turn the hot wire and watch the compression. Oh, 
Holy moly! 240 pounds? That can't be right. 200 250 pounds. What the what? 250 pounds. What the heck? So that compression reading was really surprising. I'm on number two cylinder. Let's try this. Again, I'm gonna get in here. Kind of rough. I'm gonna hot wire. Here's my compression gauge. Let's see what we got. Two hundred and fifty pounds. What the? What the what? How is that even? How is that even possible? Okay, I was not expecting that. All four cylinders. Four cylinders have 250 PSI compression. That's almost like a diesel. What's wrong with you, the car? I, I guess I'm happy about that, I guess. Next thing to do is to get it fire up. Maybe the oil will seep past the rings and it'll have a little less compression. Might let it sit for a day. That's incredible. So that compression reading was really surprising. I'm on number two cylinder. Let's try this. Again, I'm gonna get in here. It's kinda rough. I'm gonna hot wire. Here's my compression gauge. Let's see what we got. 250 pounds. What the? What the what? How is that even? How is that even possible?